The Imperial Hammer is a modified variant of the Railgun, offered as a power play reward from Arissa Lavigny Duval. This version trades a single high damage shot for a three round burst that provides higher damage potential should all three rounds strike their target. In addition, the Imperial Hammer offers an automatic trigger that allows for continuous fire without the need to time individual bursts. Like its standard counterpart, the Imperial Hammer is designed to pierce all human armor configurations with full damage potential, making it ideal for smaller ships that need to punch above their weight. The Imperial Hammer is only available in a size 2 fixed mount, allowing it to be used on most ships in the game, though it's best applied on ships with high rotational maneuverability and moderate speed. The Imperial Hammer comes with some significant downsides, the largest being its thermal load. A single 3 round burst generates 165% more heat than the standard railgun's single shot, making it a tough weapon to work with in many builds. Smaller ships will struggle to manage this heat, but can typically operate at least one hammer effectively. Using more than one Imperial Hammer tends to overheat most ships during sustained fire, so heat sinks are recommended when using this module. The Imperial Hammer offers an expanded magazine and reserve ammunition capacity, though this upgrade serves only to balance the three-round burst functionality such that both the standard and Hammer variant offer 80 total discharge cycles before being depleted. This means that the Hammer has roughly the same combat endurance as a normal railgun. Like the Plasma Accelerator, the railgun is considered a supporting damage weapon intended to work alongside other weapons at specific points or positions in a fight. The firing behavior of the Imperial Hammer makes it more forgiving than a normal railgun, offering a short window where hits can be scored as opposed to the standard variant's precise instant. This makes it particularly good at applying an engineering effect and delivering harassing damage from range. The Imperial Hammer can receive all the same blueprints as a standard railgun, with the two most popular being high capacity and long range. The high capacity blueprint doubles reserve ammunition and magazine capacity. The Imperial Hammer's automatic trigger system responds very well to this blueprint, providing for two rapidly delivered three-round bursts at the cost of requiring more time on target. The long-range blueprint doubles effective range and eliminates damage drop-off within that range, making the hammer more effective at a distance. This comes at the cost of increased power draw and additional mass, though neither of these downsides are significant on most builds. The additional range tends to be more useful in PvP as it enables weapons use towards the trailing edge of a joust, where it can help cancel out shield cell banks. The two most popular experimental effects are Feedback Cascade and Super Penetrator. These effects target different parts of a fight, so only one tends to be useful at a time. Feedback Cascade disrupts the spin-up cycle on a shield cell bank, acting to prevent that cell from discharging into the shields of a target ship. This causes damage to the cell bank module and wastes the potential shield energy that a target ship could have recovered. In order to work, Feedback Cascade requires successful strikes at a target's shields during the first few seconds of a shield cell cycle and only works when a target's shield is up. Super Penetrator, by contrast, requires that a target's shields be down in order to work. On successful strikes to a target's hull, the Super Penetrator allows a railgun slug to pass through the target ship, damaging each module it touches during traversal. 
In practical terms, this means that any module you sub-target will take damage without regard to the target ship's orientation. In situations where only one Imperial Hammer can be equipped, it's best to use Feedback Cascade, since most targets you engage will have shields up and potentially have shield cell banks to contend with. Feedback Cascade allows for shields to be broken more quickly, reducing the total length and ammunition requirements of a given fight. In a typical fight, the burst fire functionality of the Imperial Hammer makes it easier to score a hit, but hard to score its maximum damage potential. In order to deal more damage than a standard railgun, all three rounds need to strike the target, making the Imperial Hammer a time-on-target weapon. The PvP meta in Elite Dangerous is focused mainly on burst damage, and for that reason, many PvP ship builds rate the Imperial Hammer as not essential or even recommend against it. Higher level fights in Elite Dangerous take place with closing speeds over a thousand meters per second, making even the short time on target requirements of the Imperial Hammer a difficult prospect, though its more forgiving firing window means that it can deal at least some damage in situations where a standard railgun would miss. Ultimately, the two weapons perform just close enough in practical fights that it's a bit of a washout. Either weapon can work, and personal tastes are going to be the tipping point. In PvE situations, the hammer's extra damage is very helpful, though most of my ship builds use it in a supporting damage role. Typically, leveraging feedback cascade to break through heavily shielded targets more quickly. Sub-targeting and precision damage are less important in PvE, and when needed, are best accomplished with other weapons like the multi-cannon. The Imperial Hammer remains unwieldy against smaller ships, like the standard railgun, and is impractical to equip on large vessels. Best applications for this weapon are on small and medium ships, where the target is expected to be larger or slower. Heat management and power draw are controllable with engineering, but can be difficult to manage without the support of related blueprints in power distributors, power plants, and the railgun itself. Because of its high heat demand and power draw, the railgun is best paired with low draw shielding. The most popular synergistic weapon is the plasma accelerator, but the railgun works great alongside primary damage weapons like the pulse laser and multi-cannon. Overall, the Imperial Hammer is a top-shelf weapon variant that every commander should have somewhere on their top 5 list. It's a great weapon that can be made relevant in many situations, with practical performance that will at least match its standard counterpart. The hammer's firing behavior gives it a unique sense of identity and challenge that makes this variant fun to use. Be sure to get familiar with the standard railgun before upgrading to this weapon, since its performance is similar enough to give a good idea how it feels. If you hate the standard railgun, the odds are high you won't like the hammer either. That's all I have for today, so I'll catch you all later.